At times, you will need to operate Level Up System in manual operation mode. Here is a quick tutorial on how to operate your hydraulic jacks and landing gear independently from each other. Part 1. Operating the front jacks or landing gear legs. Note. The front jacks will operate manually any time system is on, except when in auto mode. 1. Push on-off to turn system on. 2. Push up arrow once or until screen reads manual mode. 3. Push enter once while screen reads manual mode. 4. Push front to extend front jacks or landing gear. To retract the front jacks or landing gear, 1. Push retract and the orange LED should come on. 2. Push front to retract front landing gear legs. Always keep in mind that if the orange LED is on, the legs will retract. If the orange LED is off, the legs will extend. Remember, the level up system will automatically turn off after 3 minutes of non-use. Part 2. Manually operating the level up jacks. Your level up jacks are the pairs of leveling jacks before the front axle and behind the rear axle. Extending your level up jacks. 1. Make sure the system is on by pressing the on off button. 2. Push the up arrow once to display manual mode. 3. Push enter once while screen reads manual mode. 4. Push the left or right arrows to extend either the driver's side or passenger's side level up jacks. Note that only one side of the coach will be lifted at a time, i.e. both passengers' side level up jacks operate simultaneously with each other, as do both driver's side level up jacks. Retracting your level up jacks. 1. Make sure the system is on by pressing the on-off button. 2. Push the up arrow once to display manual mode. 3. Push the retract button and the orange LED should come on. Note that while in retract mode, pushing the rear button will retract all four level up jacks at one time. 4. While in retract mode, Push the left or right arrow buttons to extend either the driver's side or passenger's side level up jacks. Again, both passenger's side level up jacks will work simultaneously with each other, as will both driver's side level up jacks. Note, the side-to-side -side movement in manual mode is limited to 5 degrees of tilt. Part 3. Zero setting the control. 1. Turn on-off button to off. 2. Push front button 10 times. 3. Push rear button 10 times. 4. Control will flash and beep. LCD screen will display 0 point calibrate. 5. To memorize this level condition, press Enter. 6. LCD says 0 point stability successfully set. 7. The control will then turn off. 8. Turn the on-off button on to commence operation. Part 4. LCD Error Displays At times, your level-up LCD screen may display error messages. If an error occurs before or during operation, a buzzer will sound. A. Excess Angle Why did it happen? The coach is greater than 2 degrees side to side. How to fix it? Relocate the unit to more level position. B. Bad calibration. Why did it happen? There is an electrical issue with the components. How to fix it? Replace the level up controller. C. Feature disable. Why did it happen? The coach is already at the position of desired function. How to fix it? Disconnect and reconnect power to level up controller. D. Low voltage. Why did it happen? System has a built-in protection mechanism that will display this error if voltage goes below 12 volts. How to fix it? Charge the batteries. 
E. Out of stroke. Why did it happen? A leveling jack is not allowed to reach the ground. How to fix it? Disconnect and reconnect power to level up controller, then move coach to more level position so jacks can touch the ground. F. External sensor. Why did it happen? Bad connection to rear remote sensor. How to fix it? Operate in manual mode until coach can be repaired at an authorized repair facility. G. Jack timeout. Why did it happen? System could not level in expected time. Check for obstructions, leaks, fluid level, and voltage to pump motor under load. See the cold weather operation warning sticker for additional information. How to fix it? Operate in manual mode until coach can be repaired at an authorized repair facility. H. Auto level failure. Why did it happen? The front of coach is lower than level. How to fix it? Raise the front jacks or landing gear and retry auto level function. J. Not configured. Why did it happen? Unit was not zeroed properly. How to fix it? See Zero Setting Controls section of video. Note, to clear the error, push Enter. If error remains, message will reappear. Disconnect and reconnect power from the Level Up controller to reset. Preventative Maintenance Procedures 1. Change fluid in reservoir only every 36 months. Use only automatic transmission fluid, ATF, in hydraulic reservoir. 2. Check and refill fluid only when jacks are fully retracted. 3. When checking fluid level, fluid should be within one quarter inch of fill spout lip. 4. Check the fluid level every month. 5. Inspect and clean all pump unit electrical connections every 12 months. If corrosion is evident, spray unit with WD-40 or equivalent. 6. Remove dirt and road debris from jacks as needed. 7. If jacks are down for extended periods, it is recommended to spray exposed leveling jack rods with a silicone lubricant every 7 days for protection. If your coach is located in a salty environment, it is recommended to spray the rods every 2 to 3 days. Replacement Components Consult Owner's Manual at www. Dot .lci1.com for a list of replacement components. If you have any problems or questions, consult your local authorized dealer or call Libert at 1-866-LCI-SVC1.